my name is Guy, and I'm uh, going to post a few uh, videos, and I decided that uh, I probably need to give a little safety disclaimer front end video to put up on the site to uh, just make sure people understand that some of this stuff isn't uh, consumer or very safe, it's industrial stuff. Uh, that's the audience is sort of intended for, so just want to give this little front uh, speech from the here at the Flying Pig Labs at KGB Systems. So anyway, here it goes. Especially now that you can buy drives from electronic distributors and uh, any online distributor, uh, but someone may see one of my videos uh, and mistake these things for like the commercial stuff or home consumer stuff. Uh, really drives are meant to be used uh, mainly in a controlled industrial environment. Uh, they're high energy, uh, they're pretty hazardous. They're really designed, uh, despite the way they're sold, to be uh, wired by you know electricians or people with some uh, high voltage experience and know some of the safety uh, precautions. So if you're uh, playing with the Raspberry Pi and decide you're going to buy a three-phase inverter for an industrial three-phase motor, um, read the instructions that come with it. The cautions are not overblown cautions that you always see with light bulbs and crap like that. Um, the drives are potentially very uh, dangerous and deadly. Lots of people have been killed by them. So anyway, I just want to give a few pointers to make sure that if you're new to drives, uh, you kind of understand a little bit about the dangers. Uh, if you're not, you probably don't want to watch this anyway. So these are one type of drive. It's a Siemens drive, but it doesn't matter. They all work about the same internally. They all have the same issues. Um, they take either single phase or three phase. They rectify it, charge up a big cat bus and that cat bus usually runs between about 300 to uh, 800 volts uh, depending on the drive uh, that's 800 volts DC um, which will obviously kill you um, a lot of drives will have a little LED that says that the drive is powered up internally uh, it's you know it's a half cent LED don't trust your light to it you gotta have a multimeter Make sure you have a multimeter that's rated for uh, 1,000 volts uh, with leads that are rated for 1,000 volts. Uh, that isn't uh, the one you're going to find at uh, you know Walmart. Uh, probably not. Uh, you can go to you know any of the good uh, websites out there selling equipment. Get yourself a meter that has a 1,000 volt rating. Uh, spend more than uh, 30 bucks and that way you know you're going to be safe. But again, uh, these voltages are uh, more not, uh, more commonly than not uh, lethal. So you're good to stay alive. This LED is really nice, but um, you probably can't see it, but there's a little LED on there. Uh, and it's on. It's, again, it's, you know, it's a half a cent. Don't trust your life to that thing. It's just sort of a nice convenience. It's not a safety feature. You always take your meter, you read, I can actually, on this drive, I can actually get to the bus on the outside. Uh, you see this guy's running, I got it backwards. See this guy's running about uh, 630 volts DC. Uh, way more than is needed to kill you. Now when you turn off a drive, I have a system here that charges these up, because these are a special type of AC drive, but close enough. The LED is still on. That's because it's got a gigantic capacitor bus inside it. You know, they have bleed resistors, but it takes it a little while to bleed down. Um, let's see. So now it's below 300 volts. And it will continue the, the bleed down until uh, it's just a few volts after uh, minute or two. Um, you can't handle any of the leads 
the output leads to the motor, anything, until you've measured that the voltage is uh, down to a few volts. Uh, the outputs to the motor are three phase. Uh, there shouldn't be voltage on them, but if you have a damaged transistor, there can be. So even right now, with just a DC bus charged, uh, if there was a damaged transistor and I went messing with the motor leads, it could kill you. So don't do it. It's often I see guys get in a hurry, especially in plants, and they're yanking leads off the drives, and the bus is still hot. Um, they've just been lucky. Uh, but often you pull the motor leads off because something's wrong with the drive and you're replacing it. So, you know, you, you don't want to trust it to, to that the transistor hasn't shorted out to the motor. Uh, the other thing is, I got some motors sitting here on the floor. Here at the Flying Pig Labs. And they actually have motor leads with the ground. Everything's grounded. It has to be grounded when you run a motor off an inverter, especially if you see this is mounted to a piece of wood. The motor's not grounded. The motor will then float up to 300 to 400 volts. Then you touch the motor and it electrocutes you. Um, so that's, that's key. Although you can see stuff's mounted on plywood and kind of the typical crazy lab setup. Uh, everything is grounded. Uh, it's critical. Uh, the lack of a ground could injure you or kill you, uh, especially if you have any prior uh, heart issues. Uh, so make sure everything is grounded all the way through to whatever the power source is. In this case, it's 230. Uh, and then stepped up. You can see now the LEDs are out. Well, it's probably not I actually see them, but the little LED is out that tells you that the bus is hot. Still probably going to get something here. Yeah, six volts, but that's, that's okay. Six volts isn't that dangerous. So anyway, respect them. Uh, again, they're industrial devices in reality. Um, and in the industrial setting, these are actually mounted in a steel case. Uh, and these, these are good quality drives. Um, never actually had a, an issue with a good quality. There's a lot of good brands out there. Uh, be careful of some of the Chinese junk that comes on shore. Uh, one of the problems is there's a lot of energy. Uh, if the drive develops an internal short, if the design is not good, uh, the drive can blow apart. Uh, again, with the, the high quality ones, never seen that problem, but more and more you see just total crap show up, even in consumer goods. Uh, light bulbs that can electrocute you, just horrible crap. So be a little bit wary about stuff. If it's price is too good to be true and it's on some crazy site that's exporting right out of China, uh, don't risk it. You can buy them from uh, reputable dealers in the, on the web in the United States, uh, very reasonably priced. So stick, stick with something that uh, you have some faith in, especially when you're dealing with uh, 800 volts and a big cat bus. But anyway, that's a little safety talk. Hope I didn't bore you. See ya from Flying Pig Labs.